most important element is that uh, all these injuries in football, that the main responsibility is, is the coaching staff. And what you often see in football is that when there are injuries, that people tend to blame the medical staff. And the most important thing is that football coaches start to feel responsible for injury crisis. And now we step into the world of fitness training and we say, okay, tell us the training. Fitness coaches from outside football, they step into the football world, but they keep speaking their own fitness language. But these football coaches, they don't understand this fitness language. So you get a very strange uh, situation. So what I'm going to do now is a totally different warm-up for players who are trying to get started. So I'm going to do a warm-up with the ball. So their thinking is with the ball. After the warm-up, I'm going to do games. We also have to get away from the idea that conditioning within football has to be a time without the ball. Nine times out of the ten is a drill that needs to be done, it needs to be introduced with the football. The reason why we use the ball is that maybe after a hard session yesterday, today when you start training you feel a little bit stiff. And when you use the ball, you get going easier. It's refreshing to know that you don't have to always go kind of very, very scientific to get out of the players what you need from them. Was that potential? Was that hard? Was it hard? Five against five? Was there any offside? Was there any tactical formation? What do you think will happen if we play the next uh, block with a tactical formation and all of a sudden you have a playing position? We have defined fitness in football language and that is how we educate them and then all of a sudden the football coach understands what we're talking about. There's so many things that we don't respect in this country, you know, as coaches. We think it's just about lips. The modern game, you need to know how to respect those principles. There's not only just a group of 50 coaches uh, learning from but also coaches on the higher level that need to go through to have a better understanding and therefore things will change throughout the country, not just in a few clubs. If we can go that route, this country will, will be the first to record it. The companies like uh, Simsport and WFA can obviously come together and um, bring more courses to 